Okay, I figured to do a quick video of what I'm working on right now. This is the Yard Pro YT16. Working on getting the hydrostatic transaxle pulled out. It's a relatively simple job for the most part. A lot of it's just unbolting and undoing clips, such as this one right here that does the forward and reverse. A few reasons why this transaxle is coming out. It's not in very good shape, unfortunately. The, uh, a previous owner destroyed the left side axle over there when trying to remove the tire. Uh, you can not, no longer put a clip on there. It's seized on, so it's probably never going to come out, but I'm going to try because I'm going to try and save that rim and tire. The, it does slip as well in forward and reverse. It is low on fluid, so adding more fluid might help with that issue but it might not. And these are not really easily serviced. You gotta take the fender and the gas tank out just to add fluid to these transaxles. Unlike the more higher end machines where they actually give you access just by removing a panel or even on some just under the seat. So that's another reason why it's coming out. I also have the six speed for it. So I might as well use it. That six speed, I don't really want to use in anything too nice. And why not use it in this machine right here? Uh, the overall plans for this machine is potentially put a deck back on it. Or I have a snowblower. I want to see if that might work on this. Since the machine the snowblower came with is in a lot worse condition than this one. I think this one could handle the snowblower fairly good. So... Anyways, like I said, the hole in the dash, there's nothing I can, I can do about that. It'll just stay. Um, I don't have much of anything invested in this machine at the moment. Really just a couple hundred bucks. So it's not really too, too bad. I don't have anything too much invested in the snowblower that I might want to put on here. Or like I said, I do have the deck, but the deck does need work. So we'll see. But the primary goal right now is to get this transaxle out and get the new one in. Not today. I just want to get this one here out today. Get it all disconnected, get it out, and get the other one pulled out of the parts machine. With that, I can just flip it upside down. I don't care about that machine anymore. And get the new transaxle put in place, get the belt sorted, get the brake sorted. I have done this job before on a roper. This machine is... Pretty much the same concept as the roper they even share the same hood i don't remember if i have to change out the brake rod or not i may or may not but again nice thing was with a parts machine all the parts are there so this would actually still fire up let's uh maybe not brake safety but yeah it still has enough uh, fuel in the fuel system to run um, when I brought it in here. If you saw the short before this video, last drive as representing as a hydro, I was pretty much just running off what was in the lines and in the carburetor. So there we go. That's just a quick update on this. I don't know how much detail I'll go into on this job. It's very straightforward. If you can compare both machines side by side, just swap everything over. It's very easy to do. And for the transaxle, five bolts on each side, three at the back, up at the front, there is a bracket and it has two of them in it. Undo everything. Just remember where the transaxle is sitting. That's really all I can tell you. Because some of them do sit farther forward. Some of them sit farther back. It'll come into play with your belt and your brake rod. So that's really all you gotta watch out for. So there we go. I'll talk to them later. Please keep it red neck like always and uh, please subscribe and comment.